I'm joined now by the Democratic Congresswoman Diana DeGette of Colorado. Last year, she served as a House manager during the second impeachment trial of Donald Trump following the insurrection at the Capitol on January 6th. Representative DeGette, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. You heard my conversation um, with Carol, and I, I want to get your take on this because there are a lot of people who I think were compelled to listen to the testimony uh, in this, these hearings because it was so compelling. And there are a lot of people for whom the question really is, was Donald Trump and perhaps the the small clown car around him responsible for trying to overturn democracy in the United States. And that will be determinant about how they vote and how they think of politics in the future. And for, for those people, the security failures and the other executive failures are secondary. They're legal questions, they're political questions. So where do you stand on where this report, what, what this report should emphasize? Oh, Allie, thank you for having me on this morning. And I've got to say, I'm very proud of what the commission has done. When I was an impeachment manager for the second impeachment, we were really uh, trying to prove uh, that President Trump should be impeached for high crimes and misdemeanors. And we had ample evidence of that. We had ample evidence that he uh, uh, got the people there, that he sent them over to the Capitol, and he was trying to stop certification of the election. But what we learned when we were doing that impeachment process, there was a lot more information. And, and my main goal, I never thought we were going to get all of the senators, all the Republicans, but my main goal was to begin to get that evidence out there. My portion of the case was about all of the outside groups, the Proud Boys, the other groups, the insurrectionists who were acting at Donald Trump's uh, behest. And so so when we turned that over then to the committee, they had this, as you said, this wide ranging investigation where they not only looked at President Trump's involvement in instigating the whole thing, but really the, um, the dangerous far, far right groups who really do think that the, the government should be overthrown. And then, of course, the the colossal failures of the security mechanism. So um, I think they've gotten a lot of evidence. I think the report is going to be very, very broad and concise. But number one, it's going to have to have more evidence about Donald Trump and how he was key to this. And number two, they're going to really have to talk about how this can be prevented in the future. But I'll tell you what, having been involved in this, we could go on forever and ever and right. still getting more information. That's, I guess I'm that's sort of my point, right? As an impeachment manager, you yeah. had a lot of information. I mean, I watched every second of that impeachment, and there was a ton of stuff. And there's 10 times that ton of stuff now. And if we spend another few years on it, there will be yet more of it. So the issue here is there's a deadline. There are some people who would have liked this report before right. the midterm elections, but there's a deadline because the control of Congress is changing and uh, the incoming Republicans have decided this is not going to be a priority for them. Uh, so I guess the question is, do you let perfect be the enemy of the good at this point? Well, you're never going to find perfect here because there's so much information, but there is a lot of information that I know will come out because the commission has done such a thorough job. They have excellent staff. They have wonderful members who have been bringing this all out. We've seen this through the hearings. And I think that the evidence that just the evidence that came out in the hearings really impacted the midterm elections because it showed the real danger that our democracy was in. And Americans rose up and said, we're not going to have that in our country. So I think when you get the, the report, even though it may not be 100%, we're going to have a lot of information to go on there. And I, I will also point out, Ari, don't forget, there are criminal uh, prosecutions going on across the country. Those won't be dependent on the midterm elections. And there are many, many other inside investigations in the administration, in law enforcement, that also will not be impacted by the midterm elections. Right. So I guess that's that's an important uh, point. You want this report to be as thorough and, and all encompassing as it can be. But in fact, uh, other things will happen and other things can come of it. What's the biggest goal? What's the thing that you want uh, Americans to take away from? Most people will not read a thousand page report, but if they get the executive summary or the digest or the things we tell them uh, on the news, what's the takeaway you're hoping that uh, a, a person who's not quite sure what happened on January 6th or why takes away? Well, I think there's two takeaways. Number one, Donald Trump attempted to subvert our constitutional democracy by stopping the counting of the of the uh, ballots or of the state's ballots and 
by um, by just taking over. And he can never, he's unfit to ever serve as president again. The second thing that to take away from this is our security agencies and law enforcement have to take these threats seriously, and they have to be able to act accordingly. We're always addressing the last crisis. I was in Congress on September 11th, and we tightened up our our, uh, our security then. We need to think about how to do this looking forward uh, government-wide. Representative Diana DeGette, thank you for joining us. Uh, Diana DeGette is the Democratic Congresswoman from Colorado. She served at a, as a House manager in 2021 for the second impeachment trial of Donald Trump.